Hi, um, my name is Tom Scullion. I am the program manager of the Flexible Pavements Program at the Texas A&M Transportation Institute. I've been at TTI a long time. I've been here almost 40 years and my background is in pavement testing, pavement design and pavement preservation. I manage a group of about 20 individuals, a lot of engineers, technicians and students. Uh, one of our claims to fame is that uh, when Texas has a problem, we're here to provide them answers. The most successful things I've been involved with are things like uh, forensic studies and corridor analysis studies. For forensic studies, we get in there and learn something. This is where they build a new pavement, it's not performing well, they want to know what's caused the problem, what should we do now, and how do we avoid this in the future. We also get into implementing the products of research, and this is some non-destructive testing tools we've developed. We apply those to doing things like corridor analysis studies, where they give me a section of interstate, for example, say Interstate 20 in the Odessa district, and they ask us to come up with a 10-year plan. We have to go in there, find out what's there, find out its condition, and come up with an ev evaluation plan. Often the surface of the road may look okay because they've done a lot of maintenance to it, but what's, what it's sitting on may be not okay. So we do a lot of digging, we come up with a 10-year plan. These have been particularly well received and hopefully we've saved the, the state a lot of money. Yeah, it comes back to what my grandmother told me. Uh, a a stitch, in, stitch in time saves nine. That's about right. If you can get into a pavement and, and preserve that pavement where it's starting to show problems, you can really stretch its life out. You, you spend one dollar now, if you don't spend that one dollar now, you'll be spending nine dollars in the future when, things, when water gets into it and it causes problems. I've had the pleasure of visiting some of the early projects. After five to ten years, the high density mineral bond was doing fine. Uh, it, it was looking good and it, it really does leave a good looking finish to the road and um, you know, it, which, which, which kind of leads to the quality of the work that was done to actually quality of the materials and the quality of the work that's done that if you can go five to ten years later and see a quality product you know that uh, this is working fine. You know, the, before we got into HA5, uh, we've done a lot of work here uh, with chip seals, which are very popular in Texas, for doing the same thing, for, for giving you skid resistance and for also waterproofing the pavement. So I've been actively involved with some, some seal coat work. Most of my work has been involved with thin overlays. Uh, we've developed some very, in, very innovative, high-performance thin overlays which do the same thing, but they cost a lot of money. They cost a lot more money than you're looking at for HA5. If your road has base problems, if the road is completely under designs, you really need to stay away from this product. If, if the road has got some deep rutting issues, has got some severe alligator cracking, okay, that's not the right counter. This stuff visually looks really good. Uh, and if, you know, some of these cities with some of these uh, uh, highways, they want to keep the, the neighborhood looking good because everybody wants the house prices to stay up there. And the last thing you want to do is come into it and see a cracked old city neighborhood streets that really, you know, so that's a big selling point. So I'm a big believer in proactive pavement maintenance and, and the big boogaloo on, on everywhere is water. If we can waterproof these pavements, we can really extend their lives. Uh, if we can get in there, with, uh, as opposed to leaving it, making it last another five years, uh, so to get it to last another five years, if, if we don't do that three or four years later, we're going to be spending $10 a square yard. I've been totally impressed by the people I've dealt with in all of these organizations. The, the applications and the, the streets I've looked at in Texas have been very, very good. And I know from talking to them, if they don't feel it's right, uh, they will walk away and they will tell you this is, this is, this is not the right application. So I've got uh, some real confidence with these, these companies that are involved in this whole operation.